Can I talk anything before we start? How about a compliment? I would love a compliment. You guys are doing really great. Thank you. And you're so funny. Thank you. Thank you. Preach. Preach. It's like my mom. And I'm really proud of you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, mom. You're welcome. We have that beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Bingo. My name is Stretch. This is the last time you mess with Stretch. And fade. There we go, and we're live. How's that Jackie D tasting? Welcome back to the next week episode that we filmed the next week in real time in the same clothes. Happy Monday, you sloppy fucking pigs. I hope you're ready for some more slop. Welcome back to Stretch and Fade, you fat fucks. That's a kind of a fun... You got the F pass, you can say it. Yeah, fuck. Yep. Because <laughs> yep. it's not the other one, right? Because you wouldn't be that so rude with that. Yeah, no. Nah. Okay, cool. No, nah, I'd never call you a fat fucker. Halloween season's approaching, Noel. It's a, it's upon us. It is upon us, and I will say that I have my list of movies already prepared. I watch a horror movie every day, all 31 days of Halloween. That's cute. And I do say Halloween because I, I think of October, please for the love of God, do not reach for those fucking orange crackers the entire show, because I will hurl myself out a goddamn window if I have to hear that. Ryan can't stay away from orange things. Orange shoes, orange snacks. This guy loves orange. Uh, the, you know what? The top comment on last week's video or this week's video was it's gonna next episode's gonna start with Ryan saying or them saying Ryan decided to pursue opportunities <laughs> elsewhere yeah. because of how much you guys bullied me. So. Yeah. Yeah. I like orange. To be fair, you did. You, you were a full wounded deer that episode. I think, was I, so I, I, I think sad. He, was, he was playing into it. Yeah, he was. Were you bullied in high school? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, just, just no, you the, just found out the truth after you had bullied me that I was also bullied in high school. Whatever, dude. Shoes. We all were bullied in high school. Yeah, Except Hunter. Hunter did Tim. the bullying then. I was prom king in my high school, dude. Were you? Yeah. No, it's I was. Not. I'll put a, here, put a picture Allison, right here. Is this a lie? Oh, oh he was prom king. Uh, he was not bullied. He was prom king. Yeah. Yeah. But like I said, high school was fucking awesome. He wore an all white tux. He looked ridiculous. I looked like a fat Colonel Sanders. You weren't fat then. Oh, I absolutely was. I didn't lose weight until uh, my freshman year of college. Got it. Got it. I was not the prom king. So we don't relate. Yeah. To respect. We all could know that, dude. I mean, I You're was. You're too bad. short. I am. A king has to be tall, sturdy. He has to be respected. No, short king. No, you're not a short king. You're 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 a fucking a jester. No, you know it's cute. Actually, they had um the the secondary prom king, and they made a diorama of the whole prom, and they were like, "Noel, you can stand in that," and they let the little guy stand in the diorama. Yeah, you did like a little Texas two step yeah. in there. Yeah, it's a tiny little diorama. I imagine you at your prom. I bet it was like the beginning of uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame with Quasimodo. When they all fucking like put them on that rotating thing. Yeah. Oh, spin them around, throw tomatoes and shit at them. And he's like, oh, I'm a human being. I could only dream of being that hated. I just didn't go. You didn't go to school? Uh, Prom? No. Oh, you didn't go to prom? I didn't go to my school's prom. I went to a different, I went to a different school's prom. Why didn't you go to prom? Because all my friends went to a different high school. So. God, what a fucking loser thing to say. They did. You know how many kids in my school said that? And I'm like, oh, yeah. Was it fucking Casper? Is Casper your friend, dude? Yeah. Are your friends on a haunted hill up on it? You know what I mean? Like they're all made up. My friends are my were my mom go, and my dad. They go to another school. <laughs> Me and my mom and my dad had a prom in our house, and that's that that'd was be my cute. Prom. Yeah, I'd love that. Yeah. Did your dad bully you? Like yeah. he's the jock, whatever. Yeah, he put the it on. fuck away from my girl. Yeah, dad. No, my dad just held open an algebra book. He's like, "Remember this, dumbass." I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, hey, jackass, remember this?" Yeah. Your mom just beats the shit out of you. That was prom. That was prom. It was memorable. I pulled up in a limo and I got out and like ah, and then they knocked my fucking teeth out. Yeah, boom! Yeah. Here comes the boom! Yeah, here and comes the nut! Yeah. yeah, they're playing DMX and just whooping my ass on beat. Stop! Stop! Yeah, they me on fire. And they're like you like this one, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, I uh, I went to another school's prom. So how was that? It's actually really fucking awkward because I I only knew my friends, and then when half of my friends went out to dance with their dates. Uh, the t the time I wasn't on the dance floor, I was just like not knowing anyone. 
So I was like, oh, this was. Were you trying to, were you trying to riz up some baddies? No, I went with a date. What was her name? What was his name? Alina. <laughs> yeah, Alina. I really hated the, the, the Sonic Hangs. I fucking hated the song Hangouts. No, 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 no. First of all, let's let's rebrand this, okay, real quick. High school was, you couldn't go anywhere, so what did you do? You hung out in the parking lot. Parking lot hang. And I would say the parking lot slash Sonic slash Wawa slash wherever you were, that was the first podcast. Those were the first podcasts. Just dudes in parking lots being like, Yo, would you suck a dick for $2 million? Fuck man, two million. Give me two thousand. <laughs> Fuck man, I suck a dick for five hundred bucks, man. Yeah. I feel like a lot of guys really would. Yeah. When people are like, I, dude, like, I, like honestly, with me, man, and you know me, like ten mil. I, know, dude, honestly, I don't yeah. even know. Then, if a guy propositioned that same guy, he's like, I will give you two hundred and seventy-five dollars right now in Best Buy gift cards. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what would happen. Yeah. Because let me tell you, I'd be tempted by the devil then too. Yeah. Absolutely. I would throw, I mean, I wouldn't even know who I was after this. I would mm-hmm. be like, of course. Uh, yeah. Dudes Absolutely. Do, dudes would do it for Especially, less. would I rather, would I rather do- donate plasma or whether, would I rather just fucking, just take one? Mm-hmm. I'd probably just take it. Yeah. Also, probably pay better too. Donating plasma, not a lucrative business. And you feel bad afterwards. Yeah. Like, f- like physically sick. Yeah. The one we used to say, my buddy Paul would always put up this question. He would say, eat a dick however you want. You got to mm. physically eat the dick. It's cut off. You got to eat it. Mm-hmm. Or eat shit. I'd eat the dick. Yeah. You could boil a dick and it'd probably That's what he was like saying. a hot dog. That was always his his thing. But it was- well, a- Also, you never specified how big the dick was. Exactly. Yeah, yeah it could just I mean, be you, a leg you, roll. you could literally throw- you could have like those little smokies. Yeah. Like a big crock pot of yeah. barbecue smokies. Just toss that boy in there. You'd never even know. Nope. Eat the whole thing. Oh wow! You have like you're just taking little toothpicks and yeah. grabbing them, eating them. Yeah, I must. I I ate the whole thing. Yeah, I hate when I do that. Sorry guys, I'll make some more. It was always funny when he'd throw that out there and he'd catch like people we knew or whatever, and they go, "What man? I don't eat shit. I'm eating the. I don't eat the dick. I'm eat the shit, man. I'm not gay." And it was always really funny watching Paul go, "You can cook a dick. I would eat a dick," and then watching their brain just implode because they didn't yeah, but you think could cook a- shit too honestly you think absolutely uh, dude i've seen a black bean burger i definitely think that you could fucking cook a shit yeah but think about patting up a shit and throwing it on a fucking like george foreman grill i, I mean, guess like you I don't, don't know you, who knows i don't think it would like congeal like that though i think you could get the fucking stank out of it if you grilled the thing on a fucking george foreman grill that juice is probably going to come out throw a little cumin on there i'm not saying it's going to taste the best yeah right but i'm just saying like you could do it that's in a way that's probably like you probably you could probably trick yourself and be like this is just like an awkward vegan burger yeah right yeah probably good yeah i mean impossible burger it bleeds like the ass. same as a real yeah. burger <laughs> like you say. i always like how that was a thing i mean it's, it's bloody like a regular burger yeah too, with vegan burgers <laughs> yeah it just looks, <laughs> i'm like okay is that like a pot i don't think i've ever thought about that does it bleed like a regular burger dude when's, when's the last time you ate impossible meat Steak made from human excrement, is it safe? I mean, bro, there's probably cow shit in the meat we eat already. So, there actually is. Honestly, dude, I'd probably be open to eating about anything as long as it was prepared in a very basic way. (laughs) This is not even... If anybody burgered something, I feel like I'd be like, all right, I just try it. Yeah. Put it in between some fucking ballpark buns, dude. I'd probably be there. Some baby hands. Yeah. <laughs> a little Hawaiian, sweet Hawaiian roll bread or something like that. <laughs> Damn, dude, this is sweet. This is good. What is it? It's a baby hand. Damn. Yeah. Damn it. I want to. Oh, what are you going to say? I had something based on gore. Go ahead. My tour manager is telling me this story. I don't know why I thought of you, but I was. Oh, dude, thanks. Yeah. I think of you. Oh, well. Shit, really? Yeah. Okay. How drunk are you right now? Not at all. I don't think at all. Okay, good. Have I do I sound drunk? No. I just want to make sure you're with me. I got maybe hey, maybe I got that drunk dick, huh? Ah. Uh, I will say honestly, I'm I'm offended by your pants. Can you stand up real quick? Why are you offended? Looks like something that like Christina Aguilera or Shakira would wear in a music video. I don't and I don't know why. I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't like, honestly, all of it. I don't like any of it. That's okay. And to be fair, honestly, guys, and I'm still on theme. As I yeah. wore this specifically today. Big dog 
And I got the it's the nice bowling. I don't know if you can see on the back. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, we can see it. And I got some nice typo negative shorts. He's letting, so any, and he's here, letting you know no, your no, no, blood type the so when they find his fucking body, no, you no, can no. know who to donate his organs to. I'm I'm hoping that every goth boy and girl with big old milky titties is just like, dude, I know that band. Oh, got it. Peter Steele. Mm. Do you know who Peter Steele is? No. Yeah. No. Hey, honestly, typo fans, I hear you. I feel you. I'm with you. My wife got me introduced to typo negative. Oh. Are you a big fan? Like that's also both of our blood types, actually. That's cute. She so never introduced me, man. Horrific accidents and help each other. That's so cute. You I knew w- that I, when you I, picked I, I them, would, right? I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't help. You wouldn't give your wife blood? Absolutely not. You give it to everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> you get me for the day to day. If there's a big, tr- you know, trash. I'm afraid needles, so I'm not giving it to him either. Got it. <laughs> Got it. No, and I, I showed her typo negative, dude. All right, I'm gonna be the Fantano of the group and be like. Actually, I showed her that band. That's fair. And I will say, actually, you know one thing that's pissing me off mm-hmm. as of late? I was listening to uh, Paris, Texas' new album yeah. on stream. Everybody loved it. I mean, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> probably, I mean, easily probably like one of my favorite albums this year. Yeah. So good. Yeah. And it's that about. fucking little weasel, Fantano, is just like, uh, I've heard this I've done before. Somebody's put in these beats before. I've done it better. It's like, dude... Shut the fuck up already about this shit. <laughs> I've heard Tyler the Creator do this kind of stuff before. Midair, love the album. Shout out the boys, Paris, Texas. Yeah, Close seriously, the album. so fucking good. I wish that they were coming to a city near me because I would go see yeah. them. It's going to be a lot of fun. Have they been to LA yet? No, that's next week. Um, oh! Yeah. I wish I would have just fucking came next week then. I know. If you come out for that picture, maybe. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> That's pretty good. They said they were in Philly, and uh, they told me the show was life changing. I was jealous. I wow. Think. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, no. I mean, seriously, from fucking front to end on midair, I just, I love it. It's yeah. been great, man. Yeah. So good. And nice guys. We, yeah. we, we, we watched, uh, we watched, uh, the sadness with, <laughs> with the various Texas guys. That was just so funny. Alina's just sitting there, just like, <laughs> which if you don't, if you don't know, uh, the sadness. My buddy Rob Jab has directed that film. It's a Taiwanese zombie film, basically. This movie fucking rules, dude. Yeah, we watched the sadness with uh, Lena and Paris. Did you Texas. like the sad? I don't think I've ever even asked you. What did you think of the sadness? I mean, it's so intense. It's shot so crazy. Yeah, I liked it. It's a beautifully shot film. It's like it. it there's no reason this film should look this good. It's well, pretty fucking like like I told you, I always like I feel like I need to watch things twice because the first time around I only pay it. I I just I'm doing like producer math as i'm watching it i think that was the thing that really impressed me was for the budget they achieved so much yeah so and i was just budget. yeah and i was just very dude. Impressed. i got what, what's your you're not even a big horror fan guy you, you honestly you should challenge yourself to try to watch a new horror film every day of october it's a fun time i say yeah. with you ryan oh and i just, know you're looking at me through the visor but i'm looking at you right in the eyes right now and i'm saying you be sure and you watch it yeah ryan no day. more kissing movies no more fucking romantic comedies dude you know what he said i'll do i'll do Horror if you'll do a rom-com every day. I could do that. I could do that easy. You, know, you know what Ryan said on ironically to me? He said, honestly, the movie that changed my life was you, me, and Dupree. That's not what I said. I don't even, you said that. No, I don't even know what that movie <laughs> You definitely know you, me, and Dupree. He said, honestly, you, me, and Dupree kind of just changed. It, sh- it shook me up a bit, honestly, yeah. is what he said. He's like, he said, Yahtzee. And I said, well, dude, there's no one else here. I don't know why you're saying that. Yeah. What's, um, there's a new horror film out. Uh, with one of the Euphoria actors, you would un- you would unironically love you. That, looks, that looks pretty good. <laughs> I like how it's just Owen Wilson smiling. You're like, okay, well, <laughs> yeah, all right. Got Owen Wilson. Wow, Matt Dillon and wow. what the fuck's her name? Kate Hudson. Yeah. Stor- oh yeah. Uh, can you look up Storm Reed? Her the what? Stormy Daniels. I think is what he meant. Yeah, yeah. No, Storm Reed. What's the what's the last movie she just did? Missing. Did you watch this on Netflix? Missing. No, I haven't seen Missing yet. I was. Uh, you should watch it because. I was impressed. I didn't think I was going to like it because they do a lot of it from like the perspective of a desktop, but it's done pretty well. Yeah, I don't Those Those movies are kind of hit or miss with me. There's the one who's the guy who was uh, who was Harold and Harold and Kumar. He had that movie called like he had a, 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 basically the identical movie where it's him from the perspective of his phone and he's looking for yeah. his daughter. It was that. And the whole time it just felt like it's one of those things where they definitely went to a studio and they're just like, all right. No one's really tapped into technology yet. Yeah. 
you know, whatever. How could somebody find their people? And this this seems like the exact same kind of film. Like it looks like the exact same film. Yeah. Versus a great film that utilizes searching. That's what it's called. S- searching and missing. Jesus Christ. I mean, it's the same fucking thing. Yeah. Holy shit. The uh, I'd actually be curious to watch this to see. How- it's probably the exact yeah. same movie. I mean, literally. Yeah. A great movie that utilizes new age technology in a non seamless way is this uh, really low budget film called Host. Mm. And it's like about people doing like a uh, ghost seance over Zoom. And this was filmed during quarantine. It was made for fucking oh, yeah. next to nothing. Brilliant found footage film. Very, very fun. Very, very fun. I liked it a lot. And this is a great way about doing that. But Host, Host does that very well. I finally right. watched uh, Talk to Me. Oh! Yeah. They, goes, they killed it. They I saw Talk it. to Me. Talk to Me was one of those things, and I got to meet up with Danny and uh, or the 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 Rock Rocker Boys. I guess well, just probably an easier way to say it. I got to meet up with the Rock Rocker Boys at a twenty four here in L A. No big deal. I was there. Um, Adam Sandler was walking around. Sorry, do you want me to help you pick that name up? No, it's okay. And the uh, and it was one of those things where I had never been so proud and like intimidated by a feature. Like when I saw, yeah. when I saw the film, it was one of those things where you realize how, I guess, not ready you are to make a film. Yes. I watched this movie and I was like, I don't think I could ever do this. Yeah. So brilliant. So simple. So easy to understand. Yep. It's one of those things that's going to be timeless. It doesn't date itself, but it uses technology in these days that real kids would use. Because mm-hmm. usually people will sit there and be like, all right, let's make a... It's just like a 55-year-old. Yeah. Can I, let's make a movie about Facebook. And there's a ghost that... who He's in the message on Facebook. And the ghost likes your post. Write that down. That's a good one. He likes your post and it scares you. That's how people like to introduce like social media to shit. Yeah. This feels like a way where it takes the occult symbol of this hand and makes it more appealing by showing other kids using it on the social media platforms, but the movie isn't it's based not about, around social yeah. media. It uses social media to enhance the story experience and make it more uh it makes it more relatable to people of this age. And even like anybody like anybody now, because everybody of all ages uses social media and this kind of yeah. stuff. So it's easy to understand. So good. And also so many breakout stars in this like the the main chick in this. Yeah. So good. Yeah, performances across the board really nailed it. Really nailed it. Yeah, what is her name? Sophie. Sophie Wild. Yeah, Sophie Wild. Yeah. Brilliant. Very, very good. Um shout out the Rock Rocker guys. And they've already got it's it's the highest grossing horror film from A twenty four first off, and they've already got like another deal to do like a prequel to it, and I think like I just think it's a great start to a new career, man. It's like yeah. it's one of those things where uh, it's very they have this brilliant um, YouTube video talking about them selling it, and it's like so motivating, like yeah, just them just being like we just want to make shit. And that's what they did. They never stopped. Like just because the money stopped on YouTube and they got shadow banned, they still kept making stuff. And they're just like, "Fuck it, we're gonna make it." Yeah, it's just great. Yeah, really inspiring. Shout out to the Rocket Rocket Boys. Um, such an insane first step into. Well, they're also from Australia, which is even crazier that they broke. Well, that's out. the thing too is like a lot of people, especially American audiences, are just so fucking dense that they hear an Australian accent. And they're like, "Oh God!" Like cheering out. Why? Why do they sound like this? This is fucking stupid. But they were able to make it. And what's the what's the interesting thing about that of having it be in Australia, is that it still feels like it could happen to you tomorrow. Like yep. if that thing showed up to your friend group. Yep. It could still be effective, which is well, great. Well, I mean, spoiler alert: there's an ending. <laughs> the ending, uh, really, I think drove that home. Like, yeah, no, the ending, I. I remember watching it in theaters, and I just I remember I, I was seriously sitting in the theater, and I was like, "Fuck," is what yeah. I said, because it was so good. And uh, it's one of those things where you, uh, I'm so mesmerized by it, but at the same time, I feel like I'm so extremely jealous of how smart it is. Yeah, of course. and I saw people's complaints about it are so fickle and fucking stupid, and it's people who have been conditioned to like like conjuring scares. movies and yeah. all that kind of shit, where it's just jump scare after jump scare and the same kind of fucking storyline over and over again. Yeah. So no, I, I I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I think I horror it. movies have definitely been turned into just like experiential media versus like I think people forget that it's possible for horror and thriller to exist as like story, and like they just don't judge it that way anymore. It's mm. pretty annoying. Sorry, yeah. that was like a massively pretentious thing to say, but um, 
Well, horror's been around since the beginning of the film industry, so it's been hand in hand since the beginning. Yeah, and I, I, I don't know. It's just the wheelhouse that I like exploring in. Like, I mean, it's nice to feel good and stuff, but it's also nice to like reflect on the shit that makes you feel uncomfortable and mm-hmm. makes you feel scared and stuff. And I think that's much more enticing. But I still like, you know, Ryan. I still like to watch when Harry met Sally, and I cry every time. I did, I actually I watched Silver Linings Playbook. I think I talked about this last time. I was crying watching the Silver Linings. Yeah, Playbook. I cry a lot nowadays though watching films. I think the older I get, the older you get, the more, the more I think you become emotionally attached to shit, or like the more I don't know, like the more I feel with it. I was like watching Silver Linings Playbook, which dude, that movie fucking rules. I yeah. love that movie. And yeah, I just uh, I got all teary eyed and shit, and I like feeling that way too, but. There's something more. There's 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 something about horror and which drives me to create it and stuff too. That like, uh, it uh, it's the idea of like letting something linger with you. Like mm-hmm. the, the idea of a thought and being like, how would I deal with that? Which is fun. Versus sometimes with like dramas like this, people can immediately see themselves in Silver Linings Playbook with loving someone or feeling like that you fucked you fucked up a relationship or whatever and that stays with you for a second but i don't know if it lingers with you as much as like conceptual ideas of like complete terror and something that takes you out of like completely by surprise from left field yeah it's kind of a uh, it's nice but you know it's just like evolutionary fucking evolution kind of traits of just like fear and all that kind of shit that the brain is hooked up to but yeah. great movie if you haven't seen it in a while check out Silver Lang's playbook great one too yeah after I watched Talk to Me it made me like revisit that script I'd sent you a while back and I laughed at myself thinking look at, looking at that old script I sent you I'm like this is such a piece of shit pointless piece of five pages like there's zero intention with this so I rewrote it and I think the biggest thing from Talk to Me was like I don't know I think the thing they really nailed I think that's really hard is uh, the film felt like it had its own voice. If that makes sense, like I think that you're mistaking with th- that with simplicity as king. Like I think that yeah, sure, the re- sure. the reason the v- the movie has its own voice is because it's so easy to understand. Yeah, it, it isn't necessarily that it's taking on its own voice. It's just that you can sit down within five minutes and just kind of be yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm in it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, sometimes it's easy to get very convoluted with shit and try to be like you're trying to outsmart the audience, but sometimes it's easy. yeah. It's better to be simplistic and give your audience something that's easily digestible that you can like throw curveballs in to where they're like, oh shit. And it's that's true. That's kind of the idea. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I agree with that. But still, it just it it motivated me to be like, I yeah, I'm, I'm saying it in a roundabout way, but it did make me think. Oh, like when you go to make something, kind of trim all that extra. It's like, mm-hmm. what are you trying to get to? Like, yeah. just get to that point. What's the experience you want to have in the in the like when somebody's watching your film? Which is something too that I don't even fucking realize. Like, is when you make a film, it's I, I've never made a film in my life. Mm-hmm. So I, I I need to try to make something. We should try to make something. Yeah, I'm down. And I think it's just uh, just fucking actually record something that's like long. Because mm-hmm. I've been so focused on YouTube algorithm shit where it's just like three to four pages scripts that's like not long enough to have you be like, oh, I'm not going to invest my time into that. But it's not short enough to also just be like a throwaway kind of quick jab. It's like the sweet spot that's like still shareable. It's fucked. The only thing that gives me like a shade of like self-belief is that because I've written an hour long set. It makes me feel better about trying to tackle a film just because I have written something that does last a long time, just like in runtime. So it's like I've at least taken one stab at trying to make something that lasted a long time. But before I think I made like I've shot this special, I think I've always like I've wanted to write screenplays, but I'll just open an app like the app to write it. And I just never because I just think, oh, there's no way I can. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, uh, can you look up the guy? Who was the guy who was the main writer of the National Lampoon? What was his name? Uh, Sigourney Weaver. It's like uh, no, that David wasn't something. The one that died. Yeah, Douglas. Douglas. Doug Kenny. Doug Kenny was a great example of this. Of Doug Kenny was a fucking amazing comedy writer. He made the National Lampoon. He made Animal House, which was like the highest yeah. grossing comedy of all time. He ends up making Caddyshack, which gets fucking absolutely destroyed in the critics. He goes after Caddyshack comes out and it gets fucking ravaged. And he's kind of struggling at this point mentally and with drugs and stuff. He goes and sees Airplane mm. at theaters. And he was like, I will never make anything that good again. 
stumbles, falls, tries to make something new, and then he ends up killing himself in Hawaii. It's one of those things. Yeah. But it's this guy who made fucking Animal House. He made National Lampoons. I mean, like, these crazy, huge things. And I think it just goes to show that it's like... It's it's a, it's that fucking classic Theodore Roosevelt quote where it's envy is the thief of joy. Yeah, yeah. It's the kind of idea. And it's yeah. like you have to kind of move past the idea that you'll like, you know, am I going to be as good as these guys and just make something because you have the innate thought mm-hmm. or like inspiration to make something. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we should say something comedic at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. I feel like that's you're probably right. a good idea. Yeah, it's getting all meta. Who gives a shit about any of this bullshit, man. <laughs> We're sad artists. And sometimes not sad artists, but like some guys just like, dude, I don't want to make a fucking film, dude. Just say something about like come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I have no I interest at all about making a fucking film, idiot. Uh, say something about a fart or something. I was just gonna parody myself for a second. Sometimes I get really sad in Los Angeles because I'm like, I want to write a movie, but I can't. We had an interesting conversation. Can I talk about a conversation we had at that? Uh, we got breakfast at that Japanese joint in Vegas. Sure. It's funny that you say that kind of stuff, talking shit about yourself, and I think it's applicable since we're already on like a serious subject note, is that Noel is easily one of the most, uh, he has the biggest imposter syndrome I've seen <laughs> of all you. time. But yeah. I, do, I think that like it's not because I think it's, un, not that it's not warranted, but I think it's easy to fall into that. Yeah. And I think that like you want so much good shit to come out of yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you told me something that I've not stopped thinking about. What is that? Um, the whole like Batman analogy, like it's so it was very simple, and you're like, "This is corny," but and you're oh, like, yeah. "You're like Batman trying to like deny the utility belt." Yeah, and it, but more specifically, you were like, "You so much are focused on like people you per- perceiving you like this, and you want to try to control that." Everybody and, has yeah. perceived, and this I think is applicable to even outside of people who are in an artistic field. Everybody wants the perception of themselves to be a certain way. Yeah, and that's like such a real thing but i think mm-hmm. like especially with my buddy sitting here next to me is uh you want to be able to say that you're doing something you don't want to be typecasted as like a fucking like yeah. reactionary guy or yeah, a yeah, yeah. guy yeah but at the same time it's just like you have to like roll with those things that made you and then just like slowly over time evolve it's just, I, I don't know i just thought that was applicable to be like sometimes you set out and you want to do things that feel fucking crazy because you feel the need to like prove yourself to anybody, but really all you got to do is prove it to yourself. Which you know what, that's corny as shit. But you know what, take it, take it, and run with it as you will. Yeah, that's all so I got to say. If you're listening to this and you're like, dude, my mom boys are like, yo, chill out on the perks. It's like, let me do me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't big deal. Dude, if I want to like, if I want to get it, just let me get it. Yeah, if I want to geek, let me geek. I've never actually done perks. Perks. I threw my fucking back out. <laughs> <laughs> like ego lifting in the gym one time yeah. in college and they had me on uh hydrocodones for like four weeks awesome i can so i can so easily see how people would slip into pills yeah i was sitting there the whole time and they'd be like just don't drink on them immediately drink on them. <laughs> and i was like i was like laying on my college bed and like don't condone this i was laying in my tube co- we don't condone this i was laying in my college bed and i remember i just fucking put on fade to black by metallica on my fucking i had like a vizio tv yeah i just had like my tv hdmi hooked up to a fucking 32 inch vizio uh tv that i played league of legends on yeah hooked up there and it's just that fucking beginning of uh fade to black and i remember just sitting there and that song went on that song went on and i was in absolute heaven yeah and then by the time it was over i realized that seven hours had passed <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking crazy and i was like this is awesome i remember being like this is fucking amazing yeah so that's what fucked it up. You're like, dude, I'm never working out again. This is insane. No, no. I, I remember being like, it was it actually it kind of scared me because I was like, this is too good. Yeah. And I remember I, I didn't take any more after that. Yeah. It, that that actually fucked me up. That's though. good. But the hydros, man, that, yeah. I I, I say that because it you, you think of people where you're just like, like, who the fuck was it? Juice World who ate all that shit? Yeah. You're like, are you fucking an idiot? Dude, just go to jail for like 12 months and you'll be fine. Yeah. But- you're just not thinking rationally, and that shit has you so fucking twisted up that it's yeah. easy to completely lose yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Well, speaking of a comedic topic. Great post- uh, what, what, is, what is the word? Posthumous. Posthumous? Posthumous album. Yeah. It's a good one. You liked his posthumous album? I just liked that one time. I was like, I don't- uh, it started, it started, oh, I have to start from the beginning. He's like, whoa, oh. 
I try to be things that I did. I try to say them nothing. Not ringing a bell. I try everything that I did. Nah. And sometimes I come out as being nothing. I pray to God that he make me a better man. He says, Cha. One day I'm gonna stand for something. I don't want to ruin this one. It's like a punk pop song. I don't fucking know. Whatever. I don't know. He's dead. Good song. I'm not a big Juice fan. I don't blame you, dude. He kind of reminded me of Post Malone. Remember I heard it and I was just like, this sounds just like a different version of Post Malone. I can see that. Dude, that Post Malone thing, I remember. I, I, oh, dude. Sorry. Can we get to Gore? Yeah. What the fuck were you talking about that? Yeah. I was. Just, we were talking did about- I interrupt him that bad? I don't think I interrupted him that bad. No, 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 no. We went down a tangent, but so this is when I was telling you I was thinking of you. Oh, I thought we were just looking off. Well, she was. Yeah, you know, she she scared the shit out of me because I thought she was sitting over there, and all of a sudden she's sitting there. And she's just like this. It fucked me up. Yeah, that's Lauren getting all the journalism shots. <laughs> dude, what the fuck happened to your jeans? Can I just say that? Did a fucking saber tooth tiger attack you? Exactly what happened, Holy yes. shit! Dude. God I know she damn. did. When she went to buy them on the rack, she was like, "Took out a fucking guard yeah. break." It was just like. <laughs> ah, she's like, "I'll take." You sound it. like my dad and my grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> I am your dad, grandma. Yeah, why well, the hell yeah, would Dad? you buy those if there's holes yeah. in them, dude? Half off? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I guess so. I'm not hating. <laughs> I am. Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, gore, 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 yes. gore, gore. Speaking gore. of a garden rake going through someone's head. No, so my tour manager said that growing up, he was like, he would get into shit. So his parents put him in this weird, like, it was like a JROTC program, but it was uh, police. So it's kind of like a junior. I've heard that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard that. So... He said he people did that show with like the army too. It yeah. kind of has like similar shit, whatever. Yeah. yeah, it was just like if you're a bad kid, sure, push ups, yeah. all that yeah, stupid yeah. shit. Or if you're just like, I'm gonna be an electrician. Yeah, which like it's not an insult, but people who are just like, oh, I want to know how to fix a fridge. Yeah, they'd go to the JROTC thing. Yeah, well, this was like is like extracurricular, so like after school or for a summer, he was doing this thing. But he says on the first day he gets there. And I guess it was the cop that maybe worked his high school. I can't remember if he said that, but he like he somehow knew the cop, so he was kind of like he had ex already. He was going into it knowing this is gonna suck ass. Yeah. He says this guy walks in the room, <laughs> and he's kind of going on about like what it means to be a cop and the type of shit that he deals with. <laughs> and he pulls out a folder of like investigation photos or like autopsy photos of different crime scenes he's been in. <laughs> he just passes it around the room and he's like we're all like 13 not knowing what these photos are and it's like he's just like eh, and he takes it it's just like a person's fucking head yeah it's like it's like one of the black dahlia fucking murder photos or something like that. yeah 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 and he was like i reflect he's telling me he's like i reflect on that shit all the time and just start dying laughing because you know it's like this fucking cop from philly like yeah then this fucking dancer got fucking hit by a car. <laughs> it's just like this dancer head. got hit by a fucking car. You'll see the met- you see pieces of the plate and the fucking skull. You know what's one thing I never understood with cops though? Why do they have to pepper spray you? You know what I mean during the test? Why yeah, do they do that. Oh, so there's like you need to know how that feels. Why? Why would I need to know how that feels? You saw that TikTok where the cop sprayed it right in that guy's face, and he looks at the camera. He's like, tastes like JD. Jesus Christ, dude. They're on his neck, unloading into his fucking face. That has to be, you You probably have to be blinded by that. I mean, his eyes, like, they look like the people and talk to me. Like, they're just black, like, or like the well, sadness. I thought that, I thought it was something where it was like, if you're within two feet, it will, bl- like, blind, it will blind you. I mean, they're unloading the can on his fucking <laughs> face. And he's just looking, someone's filming him, and he's looking at the camera as it's hitting his face. He's like, tastes like JD. It tastes like JD. Do you think that you would let the power get to your head if you were a cop? Um, in what way? Just in any way. Like, I don't know. Like, when you sit there, do you think that, like, you pull someone over, even if they, it's like, man, it's, it's my first day having a ticket, would you just be like, I don't give a fuck. Boom. Hey, justice is served. Bam. That kind of deal. You know what I mean? I think if I was a cop, I'd be one of those, like, small guy cops, and I'd end up on one of those TikToks where a big-ass dude walks by me filming me. He's like, what the fuck's up, Pip Squeak? And I'd be there with a gun, just like, go away. <laughs> Get away from me! Yeah, <laughs> stop making fun of me. I, you're about to. Don't. Yeah, yeah. Point up at him. Yeah, I think that. Don't you, you get away from me? <laughs> I think that'd be me as a you cop, monster. dude. Did you see that fucking? There was like that viral TikTok or like on Twitter I saw that was like, no, no, no. It was the guy who was like having sex with that, like who was having sex with girls in this uh, apartment complex parking lot, 
And people were like were filming it out in their window, like, what the fuck? And they were like getting in the back seat together, having sex in the, the, the apartment park- parking lot. Is that just not a porn? No, it was like one of those things where he was like, what the fuck is this police officer doing? Oh, and this dude's just and the girl like comes out of the apartment and she like, goes <laughs> in the back seat. It's fucking it's crazy. It's fucking intense. I was just talking about that. It like went viral again, that FBI agent who was like at that dance and he does a backflip and his gun falls out of his ass. <laughs> he picks it up and he discharges it. Like he like scrambles to grab it like, oh shit. Does he unload the full mag? <laughs> he just like shoots awesome. and it like hits some guy in oh, the shit. leg. <laughs> God damn. Can you look that up? Like undercover does backflip. Dude, the dance is killing me. He like, yeah, dude, he does like this butterfly. Off the FBI agent. <laughs> look at this. Yeah, my boy looks good here though. Oh, there it goes. Oh, shit. Boom. Oh, and there it is. <laughs> oh. Dude, if you got shot in the shin right there and you had to participate in a fucking, like, basically Mormon circle pit, that would be <laughs> fucked up. Look at that, dude. What is he off? Why is he carrying a gun if he's off duty? Bro, you know there's one person in that circle who just didn't know what was happening, just a little too drunk, and that's fucking like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, why am I dizzy right now? <laughs> Looks down, his fucking shin is completely obliterated. Like, oh, sh- Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't think I've ever been in a dance situation like this. You never been in a dance circle? I'm more of a karaoke guy. I like karaoke, but like this kind of dance thing, I never understand the appeal of somebody getting in the like in the center. This is so good. Look at this. The way the it almost looks fake. It looks like a cartoon. It looks like flare. a sketch. Like the flare looks. I like how he puts it in Max's pocket. You didn't see that. My bad. This look at the flare. It's like cartoony. <laughs> the way he picks it up too. It's like, I like how he's like. <laughs> Every time I grab my gun, I have to shoot it. Imagine this was just his planned assassination attempt. <laughs> He's like, no, no, I got the perfect idea. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I'm just a bad dancer. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Perfect <laughs> execution. <laughs> That's Jason Bourne. Yeah. Perfect execution. I mean, Jason. look at the backflip. Run the backflip again. He kind of like slides it off the top of his back. Look at this. And whoop. Oh, it, it is. Whoops. It is. A, it is a pretty. <laughs> and the way he there. picks it up, he like puts his finger. Well, exactly. The- he's like this. He's looking at the guy too, and he's just like, bingo, <laughs> 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 fucking fires. They need to repo this for like a Bollywood film and just shoot. Dude, you, you, I was uh, the Chantix thing. Yeah, the Ray Liotta thing, whatever. Yeah. Sorry, this came out of nowhere. You brought up to me smoking aces. Remember this? Yes. He's like, oh, Ray Liotta was in. Smoking Aces. Yeah. I was like, who the fuck has thought about that film since 2006? I was thinking about it the other day, and I'm like, I'm going to watch Smoking Aces yeah, again. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Ray Liotta crushes in that film. <laughs> yeah. Read it and weep. <laughs> Read it and weep. Smoking Aces is so good. But also, the fucking guy who plays like Captain Kirk in the new Star Trek films. He's in that shit, too. I had no idea. He plays one of the hillbillies. Oh. What the fuck's his name? You look at Ray. I'm dead now. My name's Ray Liotta, and I'm dead. Uh, yeah, he's like lower on. He's like not that big of a role, and I don't think compared to other people. Wow, he's really down the line. He was in the new uh, D and D movie. This is a crazy cast. What the fuck is his name? Yeah, Chris Pine. Chris Pine plays the fucking. Uh, he plays the one of the redneck dudes. Oh, that's right. He plays the main redneck dude who gets shot in the end. Damn. All right, keep going down. You'll see him smoking aces. Come on now, don't let me down now. Something like that. Yeah, smoke it is. Darwin Trimmer. God damn the good stuff there. Darwin Trimmer. I tell you what. But no, uh, I wanted to take this time since it is the one will this come out. Two weeks, so it'll be we'll be in prime spooky season. Prime spooky season. I wanted to recommend a couple movies. Oh yeah. If you want to listen, if you want to if you want to watch them during this spooky season, it's a Monday morning. You need something to do tonight and tomorrow and Wednesday. Dude, how many times have you been in October? Well, probably not you, but how many times have you, the viewer, been in October and you're just like, you know, it's October. I feel like it's the Halloween season. I don't know what movie to watch. What am I gonna do? Watch Saw again? Am I gonna put myself through watching fucking Saw again? No, dude. Are there any Saws that you like? No. Well, the first one, I guess. But it's one of those things where it's like. It's so overly done that I can't watch them anymore. That's fair. All right. The, the new one comes out this uh, month, but I don't know. We got to prove to the people because people always want to paint you like a hater. And Hunter's not a hater. I am so, a hater. I don't give a shit. No, you are Fuck a hater, you. but we do have Honestly, to the viewer, them. Ryan, point the camera at me real quick. Honestly, if the viewer right now, I hope, honestly, burn in hell. <laughs> I'm a hater. All right. You can honestly, whoever's listening to this or wh- whoever, this guy. whoever's you know Hunter's whoever, a no, piece no, no. of shit. Now put the camera on me now. Yeah, put the yeah. camera on me now. He's All a right. piece of shit and he hates you and he hopes you die. 
I don't hope you die, but honestly, at the same time, I hope you burn in hell. Yeah. All right? Yeah. But here's some fun movie recommendations for October if you need them. One is The Host. If you haven't seen The Host... Or no, no, not The Host. The Bay. Sorry, The Bay. Sorry. No one ever remembers The Bay. The Bay has like a cringy Photoshop kind of cover that you'd never expect to be good. The Bay is very good. It's all about like government conspiracy stuff. If you haven't seen The Bay, it's very good. Yeah. The next one is Lake Mungo. These aren't all going to be found footage films. So these first one two are very... You know, I remember seeing Lake Mungo. I got it on DVD back in the day. The DVD cover was so atrocious that I was like, this is a terrible purchase. I got it for $2 at Walmart. Yeah. One of the best found footage films I've ever seen in my life. Third, I'm going to have to shout out my boy's film, The Sadness. If you have, if you like zombie films, the other thing is I'm going to say is, uh, well, actually, I'm going to bring it back to another found footage film, which is Final Prayer, or it might be called Borderlands. That's probably my favorite found footage film of all time. It's very, very good. You should check it out. And I'm going to do a deep cut shout out, which is 1973's Wicker Man with Christopher Lee. I was one of my favorite say, You got to recommend the bad Wicker Man. Oh no no no! Because not- you went so hard on it in your last video. No no no! Not 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 the bad Wicker Man. You got to check out. No one. Everyone thinks of Wicker Man and think of Nicolas Cage. That's the about good the bees. one. That's the good one. That's not the good one. That's the, the good one. The the 1970s. Hunter told me. So I have a text. No, no, no. He said no, the good no, no, Wicker no. Man is the one with Nick Cage, and I love that one. You know what? I will recommend a Nicolas Cage film that's very good, which is Mandy. Oh, like Cosmos Cosmatos. My, probably my one of my favorite New Age directors. He's fucking amazing. If you haven't checked out Mandy, please do so. It's amazing. Uh, if you want to know what it's like to not be artistic, or if you want to know what it's like to never be as good as someone artistically, <laughs> check out Mandy, yeah, because yeah. that's a movie where you will feel Dude, absolutely stunned. Wait, I have Allison, to. what's another good one? My favorite one is As Above, as above So Below. Nothing Gets My Wife. Nice and moistened up, like as above, so below. That I tell you what, she fucking. I, ever, I know she's in a good mood. So, if she so says Rygos she's like, in that film. She says she says this. She says you want to watch as above, so below, and I'm like, uh oh, look, be a lady tonight. She watches that shit. It's a great film, all about the French catacombs, kind of going into hell. It's 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 really fucking sick. It's a good film. Uh, I thought it was Rygos. It's just like a POV, and he goes down on you for two hours. I would love that too. I'd love if he ate my asshole. The other one would be. David Cronenberg's Videodrome with James Woods. One hell of a film. If you like to... Hunter said five, and he's going up to ten. All right, sorry. I'll stop. Just know that you know, maybe there'll be more in the future, but it's a good movie. Yeah. I could go on all day. It's a good one. Let's get Ryan's spooky recommendation. Yeah, what's one for you? I need a... Well, I need a recommendation. It's like people who like mainstream films. It sounds like those are a lot of lost No, dude. Check out Martyrs, dude. What is it? Martyrs. That's a good one. Yeah, that's like a kind of like, that's like a simple film for everybody. Martyrs. Did you see the, the way he the, said that? The, the French version. That's a simple film. The French version. There's an English version. Check out the French version of Martyrs. It was amazing. 2009, I think. Ryan's spooky list. Or another good one, too, if you like another like New Age kind of stuff. It is another foreign film, but Serbian film, if you like that one, too. Feel free to check that one out, too. That's like an easy one. Serbian film? Oh, that's the name of it. Mm-hmm. It's the other one. So if you guys like some of like just kind of traditional Hollywood films, you need some for Halloween. Serbian film or martyrs, those are good ones. No, Ryan's scary film. This would be the scariest film for you. Going to footlocker.com and picking a shoe that just is one color. <laughs> so what um is this like the prototype? No, that's just the It's just one color. It's just what it is, just black. Yeah. Or it's just white. And Ryan's like <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Actually, I, I know that we're talking about Halloween stuff. What's your favorite ca- Christmas movie? I don't. I, I don't know why I'm compelled to ask this now, but I am. Um. Hmm. I didn't know you had such compelling thoughts about Christmas movies. <laughs> Well, hold on. I wasn't. I didn't know. Uh, let me rank these in my head real quick. Yeah, sorry, my brain is. I'll t- say mine. Jingle all the way. It's sorting one through one hundred right now. Jingle sorry. all the way has to. Be <laughs> yeah, one, through, one through 100. <laughs> uh, Sixty-seven would be that one. Okay, yeah. Jingle all the way is great. Jingle all the way, I think, is probably my favorite. You know, what I mean, it used to be Christmas Vacation, but I think Jingle all the way is my favorite. I'm terrible with. Uh, um, I'm such a basic bitch. Home Alone Two. Home Alone Two is good. I feel like you they, know what I like about Home Alone Two. Is they sit there and it's just like, Kevin, we're not going to forget about you again. Yeah. And then they do, they do yeah. it again, except this time he's in a completely different state and yeah. city. Yeah. Kevin! 
<laughs> what I love about Home Alone 2 as well is like, I felt like they just, obviously they just remade the first film, but it just felt like a, in my opinion, that was like a, a, a dream like redo. Like the director could have been like, oh, I fucking should have made this Dude, they, joke. They en- enhance it on every time. Yeah. Like, Joe Pesci's amazing. But then also the guy who plays Vern has one of my favorite memes that comes from that film, which is the part where he's getting shot. <laughs> and they have that moment where and it shows a skeleton <laughs> for a second. Ah! And the, usually the meme is when she keeps sucking. But yeah. She stop. Yeah. I love that one. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Ah! Whatever. That's a good one. That yeah. that fr- that fucking scream is like man. Oh, one of the best, one of the best <laughs> ever. Yeah, Home Alone fucking rules. Uh, Jingle All the Way is probably my favorite. Uh, the best. I watched a lot of the Fast and Furious. Like I watched the first. Where the one. fuck did that come? from? I watched that during Christmas. Why? Is it just, well? Has it just become a tradition now? Yeah, like it's yeah. I honestly, the only Fast and Furious, the only Fast and Furious film that I enjoy is Tokyo Drift. Why? Why that one? I don't know. I, I had a best friend uh, when I was like 12 who loved watching it. Yeah. And I remember there was like many times where we were like snowed in during Christmas, like, uh, you know, like s- school days, whatever. And we'd play like Lost Planet. This is right when Xbox 360 yeah. came out. So Lost Planet and fucking Dead Rising. Yeah. And he'd be like, yo, dude, do you care if I put on Tokyo Drift? <laughs> and I remember I feel like I feel like I knew every word of that film fucking yeah. verbatim by the end of that. Why do they call you DK? What does that mean? Donkey Kong? Yeah. No, dude. Drift King. King. Yeah. It's like, it's the same relationship I have with the first one. The first one I could do damn near any scene. Yeah. Damn near. I feel like the first two are pretty good, right? Too Fast, Too Furious. I heard that one's good, too. Yeah, that one's fun. The, the, Which one's the one where Paul Walker dies? Like five or six, right? Yeah. Fast and Furious, uh, Too Fast. You should watch Too Fast at some point. It's just like a- I do like how Vin Diesel's like, I can't believe that Paul Walker is dead. Yeah. That's what he says. That's pretty he's like, good. He's like driving in his Corvette. He's like, I can't believe they want to buy a bed for you. Paul Walker. The director's like, hey, Vince, can we get that? Or, hey, Vin, can we get that one more time? Do you think you could just say it like a human being? I got no idea what I can do. Sound like you have a stoma. He's like driving. He's like, Paul Walker, I miss you, brother. Please, I bet you come back to me, Paul Walker. Lauren, this is your grandpa talking. <laughs> With the, mach- with the machine up to his neck, just fucking. Well, I got those jeans that they got holes in them. That Wiz Khalifa's having. Yeah, funny. Yeah, Wiz Khalifa did that song at the end where. Yeah. What the fuck is that song? It was like really popular. Is that the day. fucking song? Yeah. Wow. Really? Is- I thought that was Sam, whatever the fuck his name is. Sam Smith? Yeah, I thought that was him. Oh, that's fucking. Stay with me. Same song, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. What if instead of that, with the Wiz Khalifa thing, they did black and yellow at the end of that? Yeah, <laughs> you, know, uh, you, you know, know what, what it is, is black and yellow. Oh, I hope you have a good time. Yeah, uh huh. You know what it is. Bye, Bye, now, what if they do Weed and Boys? As Weed and Boys. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, hold up. Do that again? No. Come on, man. Weed and Boys. And then, then, bum, bum. Weed and Boys. I forget the rest of the words. They could have really put any song there. It would it would have been great know, if they just uh, did some hundred gex. It was just like some really emotional. You know, uh, T Pain was watching me on my Twitch stream the other night. I was as I, as I was singing "Open Arms" with oh, Journey. Yeah? Did he uh, shoot you a compliment? Absolutely. What do you say? That shit sounds good. Why? And he rated me. What do you say? Well, you don't really say anything during a raid, dude. He just fucking raided me. He just said, that shit sounds good, dude. I love you. Oh, nice. So me and T-Pain are like best friends. Are you jealous? <sighs> no. I have played on his Rust server before, so. One of my boys is signed to his gaming organization, so. He has a gaming organization? Yeah. What is it called? Uh, Pain Squad. Something like that. Yeah, look it up. Michael Lopriore, <coughs> baby. Mikey Lopes. Yeah, Mike invited me to T Pain's Rust server, and I played on T Pain's Rust server. And there was a moment where we exchanged voice, voice chat, vocal dialogue, vocal coitus, voicus. And so we're basically friends. So uh, get fucked, man. That's really fucking hurtful. Nappy Boy Gaming, yep. So, signing Nappy Boy Gaming. Well, I'm impressed, dude. Honestly, I can't even say that I'm upset because I like T-Pain a lot. I think he's a good guy. Yeah. And I'm fucking jealous. It's all right, man. 
It's okay. When's it? When's just a fucking regular guy like you just gonna get something all to his own? Why head? not me? Why not you? Huh? Why not me? Just a farm boy from the middle of for Kansas. my for my uh, I turn my my birthday is December thirtieth this year. Yeah, as you know, because you definitely wouldn't forget my fucking birthday, right? Nope. When's my wife's birthday? Oh, that that'd be really creepy if I was just yeah. like July twenty sixth. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's birthday is December twenty sixth. Four days apart. That's she's crazy. a pedophile. She's older than me. That's oh. the joke. How, so, how much older than you are him? She is three years older, th- like three years older than me. Four days. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter, Hunter's just trying to drum up his dream. You're like ten years older than me, right? You're like you're like tw- like fifteen years older than me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Why well, I am turning? I'm turning forty three this year, and I'm gonna have a fucking sleazy forty three this year. Though I'm thinking about going to Vegas again. Again. I am, dude. And I'm going next month for this uh, horror like driving thing, Joe Bob's horror Damn, driving. Damn, you got the bug, man. I do have the bug. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The only thing that gives me any happiness is staying on a cheap black di- blackjack table, getting fucking absolutely smashed, and forgetting about all of my woes. That's my that's that that that's heaven for me. I tried to make that little blackjack inside joke with you, and you didn't go for it. You didn't. Did you have any drinks on our blackjack trip? I don't think you had any. Did no, nah, I just. <laughs> I don't blame you. I was just wondering. Yeah, no, I did I couldn't remember because someone's like, because I couldn't remember. I'm like, did he? I, I, can't, I couldn't remember. No, I didn't drink at all. Yeah, because you're like allergic to shit. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm a, because I should be dead. I'm like one of those should be dead people, but I'm alive in modern yeah. society. Make a wish kid that survived. Mm. Bro, you didn't go for it. I was saying YouTube should have a wheel spin. You didn't respond to that. Time. How the fuck? What, what the fuck does that even? What? What are you talking about? Remember the blackjack table when you right. put down your little ante? Right. And if you hit blackjack, they get the little wheel spin. Yeah. I was saying, if you get a one out of 10 on your channel, because YouTube, you got fucking money. They should give us a little bonus. That that same interface should show up. So if you open your YouTube app and it's like, congratulations, this video is one out of 10. Click for jackpot. It should take you to that screen where it spins the wheel. And it has like a full on... Yeah, like, like oh, two times algorithm yeah. boost. Yeah, t- yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, no, that thing is just meant to completely fucking destroy. That's what I'm completely saying. Completely fucking corrupt your brain. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, three out of ten. Okay, yeah, my dad was happy with the bronze medal too. So better luck next yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Buddy. Yeah, yeah, you better get to uploading real quick, right? Because your revenue is dropping quick. Yeah, very that, fast. That's what it should do. It should like the jackpot should be hundred x algorithm multiplier. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and only Mr. Beast has hit it once. He's the yeah. only one who has ever hit it. Yeah. yeah. That's why he's so big. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that'd be good. That'd be nice. I'd like that. Sorry. That'd be good. Just had to, you know, <laughs> take a little credit for the inside joke I put between our text that you didn't fucking acknowledge. I had to put out in front of the people so you'd acknowledge my inside joke and we could actually feel like we're friends. I'm not even going to go into this because I have so much loaded fucking ammo, I could kill you right now. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I could kill you. Whatever, dude. When I sit there, I'm like, hey, Noel, I really respect your opinion. Would you watch this? Yeah, man, one second. I'm doing something. <laughs> Seven hours later, haha. yeah, it's good. I'm like, wow, what a fucking in-depth fucking critique that was, dude. No. Let's set the record straight on this. Go ahead and set it, set, set it straight, dude. Look, look at set this. it straight. Okay, look. Let's go, let's go. Okay, ready? Noel talks about how he's fixed his lights 75 times. No, no, no. Ready, ready? And then anytime I try to do anything that's involving me, it hey, gets ready, shut ready. down like a fucking... Yeah, no, no, look look at this. This is Hunter texting me. Hey, Daddy. That sounds right so far. I know you're really busy, but I was just wondering, could you read this little script of mine? Mm-hmm. I said that. Yeah, slut, give me an hour. I never read it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fucked up, too, because then it sucks whenever people don't respond, and then I'm just like, yeah, I'm working on a thing, and they're like, yeah, dude, that sounds cool. And I'm like, this is definitely going to be a bad video idea. <laughs> no. I no, one, get, no one has any interest in I this. gave you legit feedback on this. Look, I was like, this is kind of ass, but yeah, do your thing. That's what I said. That's nice. That, that's a nice <laughs> critique. Like, okay, well, I guess I will follow my gut. Thanks, Noel. <laughs> Can I sleep in your garage? No, I I do I do think about those times where I have left you hanging, so I try to be a better friend these days. 
I feel like I've been nothing but supportive, and I give you great feedback. You do. Do I not? And I call him. I call Noel. I say, this is what I'm thinking, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Very honest, whatever. I'm not harsh, but I'm real with it. Yeah. I've tried, I've do, tried to do, be better. Do you give that back to me? Honestly. Well, I do? genuinely like what you no, said no, to me. Do, do, you, do you think you give it back to me genuinely? I think these days, yes. Even if you said no, that's fine. I just want to have an honest answer. I think before I didn't, and now I do. Okay. That's fine. You know, I like that step. That's a, that's a growing step. I'm learning how to be a better friend because of you. No, well, I will accept that compliment. I agree. You know what? I'm going to pay you a compliment since <laughs> since we're at 57 minutes in and no one's listening at this point. You are really good. I think when people uh, just get caught up in their shit, every, this this is applicable to everyone. You are really good at calling people up. Like you make me think all the time. Like, damn, I used to do this all the time when I was younger. I just call up friends and be like, "What's going on?" And I frame so much shit around work. So since we started talking and hanging more, I've tried to do that more with everybody. It's good, it's good too. Yeah. <clears throat> you never know who needs a little boost. I will say, too, I'd I tell you what I was thankful for recently mm. was you give me that lowdown about the $86 a year race package that F1 oh, has. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> I, watched that, I watched that Japan race. Oh, my God. The front half was crazy. Oh, Ryan. Ryan I called you. That is. Ryan's showing his unanswered calls to you. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm human. I don't know. I'm busy, and I'm sorry. I, 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 I never said I'm perfect. All I could do is do my best. And I'm sitting here trying to talk about fucking F1, and that is his interest that I've grown into that I love. And yeah. Ryan, honestly, you're trying to fucking Wait, did you down. like? did you like the front half of the race? I liked all of it. Yeah. What I liked was people talking shit on uh, George. Was it Perez and fucking uh, oh, dude. Alonzo or whatever? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, God, why are they putting him back in? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Perez, they took him out and then they put him back out to like. What the- I don't understand is why was Max Verstappen, no one was even close. Like, they didn't even have his time up. Why is that? The Red Bull, because uh, it's interval. So he's like set the interval. So everyone, it's like 20 seconds. And- oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I saw this. It was fun watching. I mean, like. I mean, you know, McLaren and, like, watching McLaren, Ferrari, and Mercedes race was fun. Oh, that's, yeah. That was, it was Which is pretty much all you can do. Yeah. I I think it's funny how, uh, like, all the memes now, like, some dude was, like, the best way to watch F1. It's like a measuring tape, and he has, like, 1 through 20 written, and then, like, you just put it over Max, so he just hides him, and it covers all the numbers on, like, the TV screen, and he's like, yeah. Anyway. You were saying? No, that's funny. I mean, like w- the the Netflix. I don't know how accurate the Netflix show is, but it's not anymore. The Drive to Survive. Well, the beginning. The I beginning. heard the first season was good. Yeah, but the whole thing too was like the uh, what was it? Red Bull made that big thing by switching to Honda Motors mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and stuff. Are they still with Honda? They are. It's so funny. Why did why the fuck did Mercedes get so fucked then? Because they were like on top of the like dominant. And so what happened, dude. I think about this guy on Reddit. This guy was waiting for this day. Like, I distinctly remember this guy's account. He was like, he's like, I've been saying it. I've been saying it. And basically this guy, and I'm quoting him because he's right. He theorized that Mercedes was potentially, their engine was kind of underpowered. And what where they were excelling was the aerodynamics. So if there was a regulation change and the aerodynamics rules changed, he theorized that Mercedes would just fall flat on their fucking face if they didn't get it right. And that's what happened. They just didn't nail it. I was surprised to see McLaren so high up. I mean, they've kind of figured it out, and they need to because Lando's gotten so good. If they don't figure it out, they'll lose him. And that kid Piastri is fucking ace too. So It's fun, man. I mean, also, here's the thing. I was like looking at and Noel was telling me like, oh, the Japan race is on, right? Mm. And I was sitting there and I was like, well, how much is it to watch? And you were like, oh, it's 86 for the year. It's like 10 bucks for the month and you can just cancel. And I was like, why would I not just pay for 86 for the fucking year? <laughs> I was like trying to find you a bootleg stream. <laughs> yeah, I trying to find me a bootleg stream. He sends you like a, the fucking Timu version of like some links. I'm like, dude, I'm not going to click any of these. He's like, he said this too. Yo, these seem safe. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, I'm like, I have $86 to my fucking name at least, right? So I, I end up buying the thing, and I just, I mean, even compared to football, like a game day pass yeah, for yeah. NFL is like 650 bucks. So it's, like, it's, it's fucking absurd. insane. It's yeah. crazy. Which is the only thing that's good that's come out of the NFL with that shit, which I hope that they keep doing, is uh, the Amazon Prime thing, where it's Thursday. You get oh, the free yeah. Thursday game, which yeah. is cool. Which is like, honestly, I, I feel like I've been watching more football just because if I'm just fucking around, I'm like, oh, Thursday, I'll, I'll yep. throw on the game, yep. right? But at the same time, I'm not watching enough football 
to spend six hundred and fifty fucking dollars on that pass, dude. Fuck yeah. that. Well, F one TV is great because um, you can just like watch the full race replay, or if like you miss a race but you're busy, they they do these amazing cut downs race in thirty. So, well, I wish I would have watched. Do they do the? Can you watch the? Um, what is it? The preliminary laps, whatever. Oh yeah, you can watch qualies, all that stuff. I'm stoked because me and Noel, which maybe we'll, maybe we should record, we should record some kind of video for that. Yeah, on the deal. We're, yeah. we're going to the race in we're Austin. Going to Austin. The Austin race in October. That was the plan. So I'll be in Kansas City like all that week, and I'm going to fly down to Austin, Austin Texas. from this, <laughs> and that, and I'm going to take some selfies from my phone for like whatever they're doing. But I think that like. I thought it'd be fun to do a little photo shoot thing, and uh, you know, in, in in Austin or in Austin, and go see the show. But I'm looking forward to even like honestly, that seems just as fun as the fucking race is seeing like oh yeah, who shows up and fucking does crazy. I mean, dude, seeing those things in person, there really is like, if you can go to F1 one time, I'll tell you something I'm gonna do right now because oh. Noel he has like deep pockets with the Red Bull, so we get to go see the car. <laughs> dude, I'm putting a fucking tack in that tire. Yeah. You think I'm joking? I'm putting a fucking tag or I'm putting a, a tiny nail on the tire. Yeah. Yeah. Well, knowing. Mark my words, dude. Knowing Max, he'll just do it. Knowing. Yeah. Well, knowing Max, I'm going to. It's going to fucking pop and he's going to lose the race and it's going to be a great fucking show. <laughs> it would be awesome. It, w- it, w- it will be awesome. I mean, everyone else is still fighting for plenty, so th- I think the race is going to be fucking... They've already won the season, though, Red Bull. They have won the season, but... That's what I hate about F1, though, is that so early you can just win the season. Yeah. It's just fucking boring. Yeah. Th- that's the only boring part about it, is that, like, if you get ahead and you're just winning, it's like, oh, okay, they won. Yeah. So... You know, that's why I've been, like, kind of getting into IndyCar a little bit more, because it they still have similar issues, but... Dude, if you're not on the main fucking stage, who cares, dude? Indy's, Indy's a pretty good main the only, stage. The though. only in like the only minor league thing that's worth watching is hockey. It, let me tell you why. What about NASCAR? Dude, fuck NASCAR. Who gives a fuck about NASCAR? Even professional NASCAR. Who gives a fuck? It's getting better. Me and Allison, one of our first dates, I took her to a KC Mavericks game. Mm. Awesome. Yeah. One of the like seriously, it was seven dollars to get in. Nice. People just beat the shit out of each other. The cocktails <laughs> are fucking cheap as shit. It was a great time. It was fucking awesome. It was super good. Yeah. It was so funny because we were sitting on the side of the opponents in like their penalty box, and people had whiteboards and shit, and they'd write like fat <laughs> and put it up to the fucking window. I'd be like, fuck you. It's so good. Like some like fifty eight year old bitch just was like, ah. It was awesome, dude. What is there I another sport going, like, where you can humiliate someone like that? No, right. I would say the only other sport I can say is like football. Some of their chants get fucking brutal. Actually, probably yeah, like soccer. Soccer, like, yeah, yeah, like they could, or yeah, sorry, football. Sorry, football for our, for our American viewers. Yeah, yeah, we yeah have so yeah. few of them. Soccer, uh, <laughs> I think their 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 fucking chants are pretty crazy. Yeah. Um. Right. Yeah. What a lovely episode, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Bye. Yeah, and we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you everyone for listening. We'll see you next Monday with more slop. Um, we'll be remote next week, but it'll still be just as fun. Yeah, I'll say, uh, yeah, eat up, you fat fucking little pigs, you porkers. I feel like when I look at the camera here, I'm looking through the screen, I'm seeing all these little Charlotte Webb little fucking piggies out there. So thank you so much for watching, you little grubby insects. Fuck you. All right, my turn? Yep. <laughs> I like that. I just like the sound effect. Like, <laughs> I don't even see you like that. I see you for who you are. <laughs> you look like a lesbian author. You're beautiful You're with your with your I know. zip up. Where the fuck do you buy this shit? <laughs> this is like what old. No one's been in Old Navy. This is what they're selling at Old Navy now. Is this shit? I don't know what the fuck this is. <sighs> Especially the patches on your elbow. Get the fuck over yourself, dude. Come on. Well, I need to. I gotta- Honestly, Ryan, point the finger, at, point the thing at me. Honestly, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> bur, bur, burn in hell, you pieces of shit that watch us. <laughs> Sa. 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 All right, I'm done. Goodbye. Burn in hell because you're smoking hot. <laughs> I like that. Burn in hell because you're smoking hot. <laughs> <laughs> burn in hell because you're smoking hot. <laughs>